Now we are going to discuss about on shelf availability. For a retail store, when a customer visits a store, then the customer is expecting that everything he has in his list, this list, this, these products for sure must be available into the retail store. So the retailer has to ensure the on shelf availability of all the articles, especially the key articles, which are normally in the list of the customer, which are in the list of most of the customers. So that is the reason a retailer normally carries a list of all products which a customer intends to buy, which a customer has planned to buy, uh, the normal trend of customers to buy. So the target of retail store that customers get every single thing, whatsoever is in the list. And the target of the customer is that he has already in mind that he has selected a particular retail store because that retail store has all the items available that is in the list. So let me share it with you how it works if the products on the shelf are not uh, available, how the customer treat it uh, with the retail store. So the first thing, if you say, how do customer react if a product is not available? So now there are three scenarios. First time, if a customer visits the store and he did not find that particular product which he or she is looking for into the retail store, then what is the outcome? So for the first time, there are 69% case of the time that customer will buy a substitute product. For example, if customer is there to buy Coca-Cola, maybe he will buy Pepsi in, for the first time. And 31% of the cases, the customer will not purchase and or maybe change to the competitor. Maybe he will buy that particular, particular product from some other competition. Now, there is a second time also. The second time, if a customer has visited the store and still the product which he has planned is not available. So 50% of the cases are the situations where the customer will buy a substitute product. And then remaining 50% are the chances as a probability that customer will not purchase from that retail store or the customer will be buy this particular product from the competitor. Means the customer will be changing to the com competition side. So the third time, for example, the customer has visited a particular retail store and still that particular product or maybe some other product is not available into the store. So what the customer will do? 31% chances that customer will buy a substitute articles. However, 70%, 69% of the uh, cases that customer will not purchase or customer will be changing to competitor. So this picture easily clarifies that a customer, if he will not be able to buy uh, the, the way makes the product on the shelf, customer is not able to see the product on the shelf. What the customer will be do the first time, maybe he will shift to some substitute. Second time, maybe he will shift to the competitor. And third time, for sure, he will not buy from you. He will not visit your retail store or maybe he will buy from some other competitor. So imagine a customer has not seen a product into the store for second or third time. And then automatically this on shelf availability has an impact on overall your business and overall your sales of the retail store. So what are the goals of on shelf availability process? We need to understand that it is the key for the customer that whatsoever he has planned in the list, that list has to be available on the shelf. So what is the key goal of this OSA which is on shelf availability process to prevent product gaps and offer maximum availability. So two main things. First of all, you need to avoid the shelf gap, the product availability gap. And second, you need to ensure that maximum availability of the products are there on the shelf for the customer so that the customer can easily buy or customer has this thing in mind that whatsoever, whenever I go to the store to buy this product or the buy the products on my list, for sure, I will be able to find this product on the shelf because in general, 
अगर आप ऑब्जर्व करें आप किसी रिटेल स्टोर को विजिट करते हैं रेगुलरली एंड यू डू नॉट फाइंड अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट विच यू नॉर्मली एक्सपेक्ट यू हैव ऑलरेडी ट्रेवल्ड टू लेट से फाइव मिनट्स और टेन मिनट्स और ट्वेंटी मिनट्स और फिफ्टी मिनट्स टू बाय दैट प्रोडक्ट यू हैव एक्चुअली ट्रेवल्ड टू द रिटेल स्टोर टू बाय दैट एंड अल्टीमेटली इफ यू विल नॉट बाय दैट यू गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अ रिटेल स्टोर दैट टू मेक कस्टमर सेटिस्फाइड यू एक्चुअली create distance from that objective and ultimately the store will lose sale will lose customer and at the end of the day uh, less business for the retail store